My central tech, this is Jessica Bell, the MPP for University of Rosedale. Congratulations to you, your family, and your teachers for reaching this really important milestone. You should be so proud of yourselves because it has been a really hard time. We have a global pandemic and it's impacted us all across the world and also right here at home in Toronto. I'm sure you're like me and you're sick of the endless lockdowns, the studying online, the cohorting, missing your friends, seeing loved ones get sick, and tragically, some of us have lost loved ones as well. It's been a struggle, but we're getting through. The vaccine is here, the economy is opening up, and we can visit our friends again, go to cafes, and you've graduated. I have a request. I have a request as you go forward into the next chapter of your lives, into the next exciting chapter of your lives. And the request is this. We need your generation, you, to get involved, to get politically involved, to change the rules and make things better for us. That's what we need. That means voting in the next election. It means making housing more affordable by changing the rules so that we can all have a safe home. It means building on the huge momentum we have to tackle racism and all kinds of oppression. And it means taking action on climate, real action that works so we can all have a good future. Because I have always believed that change happens when we all get politically involved. And we all get to decide if we work together what the rules are gonna be. Congratulations to all of you for graduating and have a fantastic summer. Hello, my name is Mike Gallagher, and I'm the superintendent for Central Technical School. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to spend a few moments with you today. First, I'd like to say congratulations to the graduating class of Central Tech. It's been a wonderful accomplishment, and we're here to celebrate with you. I want to tell you that I'm bringing you greetings on behalf of the Director of Education and the entire senior team at the Toronto District School Board and to tell you how proud we are of your accomplishment and how excited we are for the future that you have in front of you. And speaking of pride, I want to take a moment to thank three distinct groups of people who are all very proud of you as well. First and foremost, parents and guardians. I know that for many of you, it seems like just yesterday that you were dropping your child off to junior kindergarten and you were worried how they would do. And now as you look at them, very much young adults, very much with their own voices, I know how proud you are of them and how you look forward to their future as well. And remember that this is a team effort and so I want to move on to my second group of thanks and that is to the incredible and talented staff at Central Technical School. Central Tech teachers have a variety of backgrounds and a variety of experience that they can share and that they can use to motivate students to do the hard work, to learn, and to grow as young adults. Staff, I want to acknowledge, along with everyone, how difficult these past 18 months have been. Nobody expected students when you arrived in grade nine that your last year and a half of school would be interrupted by a global pandemic. But that's the situation you have found yourselves in. And yet, staff, you have persevered, you have changed your teaching methods, you have adapted and been flexible when we've been in remote learning, in school learning, and back again. And I wanna thank you. Never have you wavered in your support for our students, nor have you wavered in your celebration of their successes. And it's a, it's a testament to your dedication to the students of Central Tech that you have been able to do so. So thank you. And finally, to the admin team at Central Technical School, thank you. Thank you for your dedication to our students, your vision for the school and its future, and for your support of all of the staff, students, and family members. It's much appreciated. On that note, students, Graduating class of Central Technical School 2021, congratulations on your graduation. Good day, faculty, staff, parents, and guardians. Congratulations class of 2021. 
you are now graduates of the Toronto District School Board. While official, in-person ceremonies had to be canceled to ensure the health and safety of our school communities. That does not mean we are any less proud of you and all of your accomplishments. I wanted to share a few words of encouragement as you go off and find your way through the messy world around us. Today, your public school journey is complete, but make sure your education journey never ends. Whether it's post-secondary education, apprenticeships, classes, or simply reading and listening, know that we can always benefit by learning and growing. Dare to dream, dare to fail. Be bold and sure courage. Learn from everything and everyone. Be curious and have fun. And remember to surround yourself with people you love and trust. People you want to learn from and learn with. Nelson Mandela once said, I quote, sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that great generation. Let your greatness blossom, end quote. The future is yours to discover and yours to change. But so is today. You are the generation leading the next wave of innovation and progressive social change. Never forget to stand up and advocate for those who need help. Fighting against hate, homophobia, racism, and violence. Don't just think about how you want to make the world a better place. Get engaged and ask why and who, what and where. If you keep asking the difficult questions and wanting to learn, if you keep working hard, I promise there is no telling what amazing things you can all accomplish. We have many open wounds in our country some as a result of decisions made by the first settlers of this land against indigenous first nations metis and the haudenosaunee people we have a long way to reconciliation your generation will have to a part to play in the healing process as i record this message acts of hate permeate our various communities based on one's religious beliefs, creed, sexuality, place of origin, etc. Be the change. Have high expectations for yourselves. Have high expectations of your governments and everyone in between. Graduates, whatever you decide, go forth into the world and do great things. In closing, I want to wish you good luck and success in everything that you do. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. My name is Christine McCurry and I'm the president of the Alumni Association and I'm just here to tell you how very, very proud the alumni is of all your accomplishments. The last couple of years have not been ideal for education and it could not have been easy. So we are very proud to wish you a hearty, hearty congratulations and wish you all the best in your future endeavors, whether you're going to university, or college, or going straight to work, or just haven't quite figured out what you're doing. This is a wonderful time and you should be very, very proud of yourselves and, and how well you've done and what you've done to get through to this stage. And don't forget to thank your parents or your uh, teachers, anybody that helped you out to get to this point in your in your life. They're proud of you, too, and we just all want to see you do so very well. So congratulations once again. And don't forget us. Come back and visit pay it forward. We're always going to be happy to see you because we are family and that's what Central Tech is, a big, happy family. Congratulations, 2021. You did it. Hello, grads. Welcome home. 
This year, I'd like to thank our special guests, MPP Bell, Trustee Chris Moyes, Supervisory Officer Mike Gallagher, and Co-President of the Alumni Association, Christine McMurray, for their warm wish wishes to our graduates. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all our contributors for our scholarships and special awards. Thank you also to my vice principals, Michelle Robinson, Albert Cho, and Tina Kahn for their time working together to bring this celebration. I must also thank Mr. Addy Pereira, our office administrator, for coordinating so much of this event, and Mr. Lambert, who spent many hours putting the graduation video together. This ceremony would not have happened without the dedication and hard work of so many. Hello, parents, guardians, family, and friends. Thank you for joining us. Today marks the culmination of many years of determination and hard work. Thanks to you and your support, we are here to celebrate our graduates with the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another. It has been an honor for us to play a role in your children's lives for the past four years. And today we celebrate their achievement. The road to today was not always easy for some. There have been challenges and our students have persevered. Sometimes they persevered with a little help from family, peers and staff. Sometimes it was just a little kindness that made the difference. I would like to thank the Central Tech staff who have worked many hours to bring our graduates to today. At times the students may have felt that the journey was long, but as they got closer to the finish, it didn't seem long enough. Our staff has engaged students to think inside and out of the box and beyond the four walls of the classroom. They have given them a strong educational base from which to grow from. We would also like to thank our parents and guardians who supported students and kept them on track while learning virtually from home during the COVID period. And finally, to the class of 2020, this is your day. You have spent many occasions in this school and have started your journey here from grade nine. You have built a great support system with your classmates, your friends, and your Central Tech family. You may have known each other for your entire four years or just a semester or two, but you're all connected by the experiences you've shared while at Central Tech. You have shared them with a class and now you have the opportunity to share them with the world. Though the future is unknown, the friends and memories you've made at Central Tech are forever. This year was like no other. Your final senior years were interrupted by COVID-19. You had to deal with online learning, lockdowns, cohorting, sanitizing, and wearing masks. I would like to remind you that you went through one of the most difficult times in history. The lessons you've learned and the lessons you've taught us over this time are unprecedented. You were able to adapt, to overcome, to persevere. You learned to be flexible and change your learning platform with little notice. Your communication skills improved and you are a learner like never before. Hold your heads up high as you realize that you've worked through one of the most difficult periods that you may have experienced in your lifetime. Graduates, your teachers have taught you the five W's and here are five W's from an unknown author. Who you are is what makes you special. Don't change for anyone. What lies ahead may be a mystery. Don't be afraid to explore. When life pushes you over, you push back harder. Where there are choices to make, make the ones you won't regret. And why things happen will never be certain, but take it and strive and move forward. As I remember the class of 2021, I see some of our future leaders in the arts, technology, academia, and industry. How do I know? Because I've seen you lead for the past four years. Barack Obama said this of your generation. No generation has been better positioned to be warriors for justice and remake the world. To the class of 2021, 
We are so proud of you. Go out and make the change you want to see. Congratulations, graduates, class of 2021. Good evening to my fellow graduates, teachers, staff and administration, parents and guardians. Thank you all for being here virtually today to celebrate and commemorate this incredible milestone for the 2021 graduates. My name is Karina Simbanit and I am genuinely honored to be representing Central Technical School's class of 2021. First and foremost, on behalf of those graduating, I will happily take this opportunity to say thank you to all the teachers, staff, and the administration for helping us get through this dreadful pandemic. With your support and hope and the lenience you might have shown in greeting us, ha ha, we wouldn't have been able to become as successful as we have on this date. With your understanding that we're often struggling both within ourselves and or at home, your care has given us a safe space within which to learn and to persevere. With your great yet often corny humor, we've shared laughs especially through our darkest moments. Also, with your authenticity and wits, you have given us the motivation to learn, and we appreciate that a lot. To my fellow students, I truly hope you are all in good health and all are celebrating this moment as much as I am. To be here tonight means so much that you have accomplished all that has been asked of you this year and in the years before this one. This has not been an ideal way to end our high school careers with the constant social distancing, the cancellation of events we wish we had, and just enjoying our last year until we entered adulthood. You should be proud of your resilience given the alternating learning circumstances of what we have just gone through. So if you've graduated through hard work or the support from our lovely teachers, or because you simply set your mind to it and said that you were going to succeed despite all the challenges, you've reached the ultimate goal. I can't tell you how much I would have loved to have had the opportunity to see you in person right now. I can't help imagining how much energy you would be capable of creating. Together, one last time, as our families would be present and able to share this accomplishment with us. To all the parents out there who are watching this with their graduates, I'd like to offer my congratulations to you as well. We weren't the only ones who had to overcome a lot during this time. Each and every one of you should be feeling a huge sense of accomplishment right now, if not a huge sense of relief. I'm sure all of us here can think back to just how normal grade nine was when there wasn't a deadly virus spreading. On our first day of school, I bet that everyone looked around admiring how big everything seemed, but then got lost trying to find our first period classes. My first time in the building, my friend and I were attending the extra credit summer school course and it took us 30 minutes to find the cafeteria. When school began, as we walked into the classrooms, seeing all those new faces, most of us were too timid and frightened to speak to anyone. But as time progressed, many of us began to form close friendships. For instance, after being in Mr. Krusik's geography class, the person who sat next to me from the start became my best friend. So while settling into Central Tech seemed intimidating, after getting to know most of you for these past four years, I can say that I'm very happy that I chose a school through which to live through my high school experience. I would also say that I'm extremely happy that you made the same choice that I did in coming here. So to those of you who I would race with to grab the chocolate milk from the snack bin until it was empty, to those of you who ran around with me all over the school capturing photos, to those of you who would spend lunchtime with me eating on the staircase, and to those of you who would ask me to hang out with them after school, thank you for the very many fun memories I was able to make while I was here. Building friendships wasn't the only thing we gained from being at Central Tech. We've also gained some, experience, some entertainment within our classrooms. Although many of you will have your own memories, these are some of mine. The time Mr. McGrill ranted about how much he hated gummy bears in science class, how Miss the Blois made us sing the quadratic formula song to help us memorize it for a test, and how Miss Hope made us imitate her dance to a debit credit accounting song for extra marks, which no one did. Working on the yearbook committee and student council, I technically got the inside scoop of the students' school lives, and thus I've had the opportunity to observe the many talented and skilled students we have in the school. 
I've seen all the lucky students who've gained experience through this school's incredible variety of course selections. Laws program, OEA programs, specialized art program, and schisms. Looking at us all, I see future leaders, a future of potential lawyers, engineers, fashion designers, architects, athletes, artists, and many more. Now, please don't leave our teachers' efforts in vain and apply the experience you've gained here to excel wherever you're heading. We are the next generation that the world will count on. As you start the next chapter of your life, though, always remember to share each text motto as a symbol of hope, to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. Even though we haven't had the full high school experience, and this may sound cliche, just remember that you have a long way ahead of you. Merely dwelling in the past will hinder you from accomplishing greatness in the future. As Mr. Voigt liked to remind us, we have to go forward in life. The world stops for nobody. Wherever you may end up, just remember that you will always be Central Tech Blue at heart. Again, I'd like to congratulate Central Tech's class of 2021 for this amazing accomplishment. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Farewell.
Hey guys, on behalf of the Student Council, I would like to congratulate the class of 2021. We did it everyone. Today marks the end of our high school journey. And although it is definitely not what we imagined it would be, we're stuck at home, without our friends around us, with no prom, let us still celebrate how far we've come and the memories we've made along the way with each other. I would like to wish you that whatever path you decide to take after high school, that will be very fun and exciting and let's face it, not restricted by COVID. Enjoy your celebration, everybody. You deserve it. Central Tech graduating class of 2021, I'm so proud of your perseverance through this pandemic. And remember, although you may be graduating, you will always be Central Tech family. So until the next time we meet. Congratulations to the graduating class of Central Tech 2021. All my very, very best to you. I miss you so much. I wish we could do this together. You have overcome so many obstacles. I'm so proud of everyone. Here's my Central Tech hats off to the graduating class of 2021. Hey, CTS grads, congratulations, you did it. I'm so very proud of you and I'm so excited for you all as you begin this next stage of your life, a life after Central Tech. I'm sure you're not surprised that I have a quote for you. The writer Paul Calanthe states that life isn't about avoiding suffering, it's about creating meaning. And my hope for you all is that you create a life that is meaningful and fulfilling. Please stay in touch. We'll miss you. Love you so much. And congratulations. Hi, I'm Miss Phillip. Whether you're a student or a student, there's one thing that will give you an edge, a high school diploma, which is now what you have. Congratulations. Hi CTS grads, congratulations, it's Ms. Um here. All the best to you and I hope to see you soon. Come by when it's safe to do so. Hello CTS graduating class of 2021. Congratulations. And I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in your last year of school. Your final assignment, get rid of consumerism, the system that we put in place. Good luck with it. All the best. Hello, class of 2021. Congratulations. You have made it through two of the most unique years of your educational careers. Something for the history books and something to bring with you to your future. Just wanted to wish you all congratulations and good luck in the future. Way to go, grads. I'm so proud of you and everything you've accomplished at Central Tech over the last four or five years. I can't wait to hear of all the adventures and achievements that you have in the future, and I wish you best of luck. Congratulations. You did it. I know this isn't the graduation that you had envisioned last year or even the year before that for sure, but here we are. Thank you for your resilience and thank you for doing your part in stopping this pandemic. I hope you can get together and make up for lost time to celebrate yourselves. All the very best.